Yay! So, <laughs> part two of my story, <clears throat> the anomaly that is my life. Um, in part one, I talked about how, hold on just a second, I have to get my notes up because literally I can't keep track of what I'm saying. So I have little bullet points <laughs> that I wrote down so I don't forget where I'm going. So in part one, I talked about how all of this started, how I just started shaking out of nowhere uh, one night and then it happened the next night and then it happened for three or four months and I did all kinds of testing and nobody could ever tell me anything um, and finally it just kind of went away on its own um, so that was really spring of 2009 and then after that you know it was just like once a month and then once every couple of months and then it was really down to just like <coughs> Hmm. like once or twice a year so I got married in May of 2009 um, we had our first child a couple years after that and then our second child a couple more years after that and I never really had any issues other than like the one or two episodes where I would shake for a couple hours usually in the evening and then um would be kind of twitchy and groggy and out of it for the next day or two and then be fine. That was until um, fall of 2014. Uh, we were pregnant with our third child by then. We like babies. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? 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 Um, pregnant with third baby. So September I had like a little um thing one morning um but was just like half an hour and it was really not intense at all and I thought hey cool maybe I'm done with that for this round maybe that's it it's like fading away so much that it's hardly even a problem anymore um but then um in the beginning of November I had another one that was a little more severe and lasted for a couple hours, so I brought it up to my um, OB because at that point I was about <laughs> four months pregnant. Um, so she said she could either, you know, set me up with a neurologist then, or we could just see if maybe that was it, since I say that, you know, it doesn't happen very often. So I decided to just, you know, wait it out and see. Um, so I think that same night after my OB appointment, um, I can feel it starting to come on again and building up and we were putting the kids to bed So I tried to fight it for a really long time like probably half an hour um, <laughs> What 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 it's so annoying <laughs> um, But you know You can only fight it for so long and Then when it did hit it was really really bad really intense uh, shaking and convulsing. Um, uh, to the point where I couldn't breathe. Uh, so that was a thing for like four hours. Um, and about one in the morning or so, um, our second child came in to nurse and I just, I couldn't take care of him. And at that point, I kind of had, like, just emotionally, I couldn't deal with it anymore. Um, my body was so overtaxed at that point and so exhausted. <laughs> um, so my husband had to carry me to the van and load me in. We went to the ER again, um, which, by the way, I've only been to the ER three times in my life, and two of them have been because of this. Um, <laughs> and all of them in my adult life, so I don't know what that tells you. Anyway, we go to the ER, my blood pressure was like through the roof, I usually run at like almost dead level, <laughs> and it was like twice as high as it normally is. Um, when they went to put the IV in me, my blood just like spurted everywhere, it was gross. Sorry, TMI, but it looked like a crime scene in like the little cubicle ER space I was in. So they gave me more drugs. 
<laughs> and set me up with like an emergency neurologist visit essentially for the next morning um so i didn't get like any sleep that night i was totally exhausted we got home at four in the morning from the er um and then you know as soon as the drugs wore off i started shaking again <sighs> So we went to the neurologist the next morning, and after talking with him for a little bit, he decided that I probably was having psychogenic seizures, which his his hypothesis was that I'd had a very traumatic childhood and was converting that trauma into a physical reaction. So he wanted me to see a therapist and he's like come back and check in in a month um honestly i got the the impression that he either thought i was like a total nut job or he thought i was trying to score drugs which if you know me you know that i hate I hate being on drugs i don't even like taking ibuprofen um used to make my mom crazy growing up because I would say that something hurt and she would offer, you know, Tylenol or whatever. And I'd be like, no, I don't want to do that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it was just, you know, in his, in his defense, the, the word I was still using to describe what was happening was seizure. Um, I can't remember if I already said this or not, but my two, I have two sisters who have had seizure issues. One had childhood epilepsy and one is currently still dealing with, um, an epileptic disorder. Um, <laughs> so uh, that was what I'd seen, um, and it was the only thing I could compare it to, so that was the word I was using. So that is kind of in his defense. Um, so all of the next week, I kept shaking. You know, I was kind of hoping that it, you know, maybe it would go away after that bad, bad episode and we'd be okay again, but. The whole rest of the week, I shook every day, all day. My neck was killing me. Um, and finally, after about a week, or a week and a half of that, maybe, I um, took a video and posted it to a small group of Christian moms that I'm with. And um, one of them said that it looked like her sister-in-law, who has Tourette's syndrome. <laughs> I was like, what? Hmm? I'm sorry, what did you, what? Uh, I really had no experience with Tourette's whatsoever. I didn't know anything about it. I don't watch a lot of TV. Um, so I didn't even know the, like, the swearing reference ones at all. So I didn't know, like, anything about Tourette's. Hmm. 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 So I started uh, researching that because um, I'm a rabid researcher. I research all the time. At any given time, I have, like, 30 tabs open on my computer and it makes my husband crazy. <laughs> um, that's what I do. Uh-oh, baby alert. 